Um, yeah, we're talking about um, when you go to sleep and you still remain uh, conscious, um, and that is an extremely high state, if not the highest. Um, that will come and go though, won't it? Like when you wake up in the morning, that experience, that's not total liberation, is it? That that comes and goes, or, or am, I, am I wrong? What comes and goes? The, well, the fact that you, you can enter deep sleep uh, as such and, and still, experience that you are i i am even though there's no body um that it what i'm saying it is that's just not a one-off is it that that is you will wake up in the morning and that experience might be a wonderful uh if you can remember it uh, but it will go won't it or or yeah, it, 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 if it's truly seen, it will not go. Right. And not only does it not go, but it was, it's, it's very, it, it's, um, let me see if I can explain. There, there are very, there, there are high states you can get to um, where the mind becomes very quiet. That approximate Jagrat Shushukti. That will come and go. These are the samadhis that come and go. Yeah. These are the conscious states that come and go. But when you properly enter the true Jagrata Shukti, that only happens once. Yeah. It only happens once. You can only realize the self once. You can only, in truth, you know, we talk about abiding as the self. The practice is to abide as the self. You can actually, in truth, you can only do that once. The other times you're doing it, you're not truly doing it. It's still sadhana. Sadhana means spiritual practice. It means it's ego-based at effort, attempt to try and discover what you are. In truth, you can only abide as a self once, not even once. Because this is where everything starts to break down. It's like where the laws of physics come to an end. <laughs> you know the black hole or you know the big bang or something this is this this bit um when you we but we can put it like this it doesn't when you when 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 you go into that state you realize there's only been that state and when i say you realize again there's no you left there's no other there's no you there's just that which you are which you truly are. When I say there's no you, I mean there's no body mind. There's just that which you are. And there's a realization in quotes that there's never been anything else. Maya has never even come onto the scene. Doesn't come and go. That's liberation. Liberation doesn't come and go. It doesn't come and it doesn't go. It's Turiya. And that is what has to be realized. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's that, there's that Upanishad which talks about Turiya. There are, there are many Upanishads that talk about Turiya. Um, the, the most famous is the Mandukya Upanishad. It talks about Turiya. In verse 7, it explains that Turiya is the fourth state and it is actually your true self, Atman, and you have to realize it. And in Atman, it says there are no, there's no waking, no dream, no deep sleep, no objective phenomena whatsoever. And the Brihadranika Upanishad also talks about this as well. And many other Upanishads. And especially the minor Upanishads. With the so called minor Upanishads. Um, so, when you realize the self, you can only realize the self once. You can only go into Jagrat Shushupti once. 
you can only truly abide as the self once because then that destroys ignorance and ignorance never comes back if it comes back again that's not realization that's not the true turiya that's not the true jagrat shakti that's just nearing it but you know Bhagwan often doesn't say that he'll often say yes you can abide you have to abide as a self repeatedly before this realization occurs why does he say that it's because usually you have to attempt repeatedly before you actually truly attain self-knowledge because of the vastness because of the habitual tendencies of the mind to conjure up a body and a world does that make sense right yes yes Thank you. You're welcome.